Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm here reviewing CELG. This was a really nice bearish gap today. It was a little bit of a wild ride, and I'm just going to briefly go over it. For the people that are in the room, there was just multiple, multiple trades in this today. First trade entry was in this for the quick drop. If you get out here, it was more than a $2 move. It was a, it was a beautiful quick move, which, which is not happening every single solitary day given the bullishness of the market. You've really got to pick the correct shorts lately to, to do. Anyways, this looked good in here, but then it didn't break the low. It was still a short. The gap was still great. It was still really, really good. No matter where you put the stop in here, which was originally over the high, and then I said 99.50, either way, the stock ended up lifting. If you didn't get out in the morning all the way over and retesting 101, and actually briefly went over 101, 101.15 was the high here. But the stock was a good short. It really was. So I told the room, if you want to do this in a 15 minute, if you really want to do it, you could do it on a 15 minute when it sets up. This, this did set up. It set up here in a 15 minute, right into 11.15. There was absolutely nothing wrong with this. The gap was good. It just was down a lot on the day. And we talked here, this is going to break again right now. Let's just see if this finally gets to 95. Anyways, it was a great trade. It was a great trade this morning. It was a great trade this afternoon. The problem is if you didn't get out in the morning, first quick drop or scalp it, then you took the stop and would have had to retake it. But as it turns out, the second move here is going to be the biggest. Now, I want to go over exactly what here this is going to go. I knew this was going to go. Mm. I gave a lecture all morning in the room about this trade and isn't that incredible? Anyways, let me just go back to what I was saying here. So the first morning drop happened quick. Then the second move, you could have done in the 15 minute or you could have waited for the confirmation. So what was the confirmation? To make sure it wasn't going to lift again. The five minute, this is a five minute chart set up here. So then I was looking at this. Now just follow me here. The stock did a tail with a green head. Okay. This is around the time it's triggering on the 15 minute as well. All right. So you could have been in this, but I think it's too aggressive to have done it immediately on the five, just because of the fact that lifted over the high, the 15 minute was fine. That was a valid entry, which I had said this in here though, was a really, really, really nice entry. Why? Because it was a resistance. If you did this on the break, put the stop right over 99 plus the cushion. It was the confirmation because if the stock had lifted over this area, then it would have lifted over the high again and again and again, and it would have been completely done for the whole entire day. So that's that was the second trade then. And this this is this is still going. So we'll really see where this ends up going here. Uh, watching it, watching it, watching it, 245. If you have time to do afternoon trades, you can. If you don't, you just do the morning trade and get out immediately. That is preferred. But in this case here, the bounce this morning happened so quick. A lot of people in the room got out. Some people did. Some people didn't. If you ended up taking a stop in the morning, though, this really, really paid in the afternoon, whether you did it in the 15 minute or the five minute or even the one minute, although I think that was a little bit too aggressive. And if you're still in this now, it looks like it's going to go to that 95 number. Um, there is time left in the day, an hour and 15 minutes, and I'm not saying hold this into the close, but it is clear that this stock is going to hold extremely, uh, or close extremely weak today. It, it held the bearish gap, and I, and I knew that it would. Gave a great lecture in the room about, about conviction, about this gap itself. We talked and talked and talked about it. Hopefully people learned something today. You know, when I'm looking at these gaps, I, I'm really looking for something to have the follow through. It had the follow through this morning, but unfortunately the bounce back was just so quick, but never lost sight of the gap itself. There are so many different entries you could have done this today, but ultimately the stock was a short. That was the direction to play this today. The stock was never along today. It never set up as a long. The stock was a short all day long, all day long today. And in fact, So we'll just see where we go tomorrow, but watch the CLG. We'll see where it closes. If you're still in the afternoon trade here, it looks great to break the low, which was 95.50. If you got out this morning, got out this morning and was done, 
But the afternoon trade really ended up being a very nice move. You had to be a little patient with it in the afternoon to watch it, but really not much. As soon as it lifted here, it almost dropped again. As soon as this lifted over the high, it almost got slammed down again. So we'll see where this goes. We'll review this next week. And that's pretty much it. So good luck, everyone that's still in this. If you're out of it, if you made money in it today, if you did it once or twice. Some people did it, I think, three or four times, but it definitely was a short. We'll see if it breaks the low and goes to that $95 number. And I'll see everybody soon. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you want more information.